I would like to uh, focus on the somewhat neglected history of mesmerism, of animal magnetism, in German Romantic culture. German Romantic culture. And more specifically, on its even more neglected impact on the historiography of Western esotericism. The central figure in my story is Josef Ennemoser. And in order to explain his significance, I will have to begin with some general observations first. In the context of German Romanticism, mesmerism or magnetism developed into a direction that was strongly different from what we find in other countries such as France or England. The origins of this specifically German development can be located very clearly. It all began with a medical theory proposed in 1807 by the respected physician Johann Christian Reil and adopted by Carl Alexander Ferdinand Kluge in his influential textbook of animal magnetism published in 1811. This theory distinguished, uh, uh, distinguished between two separate but mutually complementary nerve systems. The cerebral system, the brain and the spiral marrow, and the so-called ganglion system, centered on the solar plexus, which were, uh, which were represented as the organs of the conscious and the unconscious soul. The basic concept was quickly adopted by a whole series of major authors, including Gotthilf Heinrich von Schubert, Georg Wilhelm Friedrich Hegel, jo Josef Ennemoser himself, Johann Karl Passavant, Dietrich Georg Kiesel, Karl Josef Hieronymus Windischmann and Justinus Kerner. They appear to have agreed that through the ganglion system, we have access in Schubert's influential formulation to the mysterious night side of nature. The cerebral system, associated with rational thinking and discursive language, is dominant during our waking life. But its ganglionic counterpart takes over when we fall asleep. And our soul then starts speaking to us in its own hieroglyphic and poetic language of images and symbols. However, it was only in the artificial state of somnambulic sleep, or trance, that the ganglion system was seen as revealing its full potential. Countless contemporary observers described how patients in such a condition displayed a range of spectacular occult or psychic abilities, including action at a distance, hypersensitivity, perception by a sixth or inner sense, precognition, clairvoyance, the perception of spirits and angelic beings, speaking and writing in archaic or unknown languages and scripts, and mystical, mystical visions of higher worlds and divine realities. 